Section 127 in Hansen and Quinn's Greek and Intensive Course covers polus, pole, polu, and how to decline that adjective. You can find this in Hansen and Quinn on page 471. Polus, pole, polu is mostly a second and first declension adjective, but it has a couple of third declension forms. Polus, pole, polu means much in the singular and many in the plural, and it's mostly a first and second declension three ending adjective, but it has a few third declension forms, and that's why you need to learn its paradigm separately. So let's go ahead and do that. We get in the singular and the nominative polus, pole, polu, in the genitive polu, poles, polu, polo, pole, polo, in the dative, and in the accusative singular polun, pole, polu. There is no vocative. Then we go on to the plural poloi, polai, Pola, genitive plural, polone, 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 the old reliable, and then dative plural, polois, polais, polois. And finally, accusative plural, polus, polas, pola. Now, the only things that are unusual from the good old kalos, kale, kalon declension are the masculine and neuter nominative singular and the masculine and neuter accusative singular. Otherwise, as you can see, it functions exactly the same way as kalos, kale, kalon, and I don't think it's going to cause you any problems about learning its declension or practicing using it in your various drills and sentences and translating.